Alrighty guys, so welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys a new type of cup I'm actually going to be introducing to my competitive server. So we're thinking about doing this monthly, but it might end up being like a every two months type of thing because it is a lot to organize. Um, and it's going to take a lot to host and it includes a lot of people. So, you know, it's not guaranteed that everybody's going to be able to show up each month. Uh, so you might do this every two months, but right now we are going to be doing it for the month of April or the month of May. We're not exactly sure yet. We're trying to figure out those times and days. But this is going to be a creator cup. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like and sub button. Here's today's YouTube comment shout out. Let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty guys, so this creator cup we are hosting here. So it is inspired mostly by the cups that Westrum hosted. The only thing that is going to be different is we're actually going to be hosting this cup in zone. I know that a lot of people had complaints with how showdown was before. I mean, showdown at the time was a lot newer. So not a lot of people knew that it wouldn't really run that well. Westrum still ran it really well. He casted it very well. So it was a very great event regardless. People still had fun playing it. I had fun enjoying watching it, even though I wasn't invited to it. Actually, I was invited to it, but I was invited to it like very last minute and I wasn't online to play it. Um, so I decided to just watch like the second half of it once I got home that day. Uh, but now I can actually participate in this one. So what we're going to be doing this time around, so we're not going to be uh, doing like commentating or anything like that this time around, I don't believe. I think what we're going to be doing is we're going to be having uh, content creators be team captains and then each content creator will record their POV. And then we can use that POV to slap into a video. Um, we plan on making a fully edited video based on the Creator Cup as well as posting the Creator Cup stream. We are going to be streaming it. Most creators will be streaming it um, as it is live so you guys can watch your favorite creators play. Uh, we're also encouraging them to go live to, for this event as well. So, I mean, not every single creator probably won't stream it, but for the most part, I believe that they will because it is good for their content. Um, it'll help them out in the long run. But you guys can also learn how to join by watching the rest of this video. So I'm going to be getting into that right now. So basically, uh, the only requirement is that you have to be active. Uh, you have to post pretty often. Uh, you have to show that you, you know, like to post at a decent, like you don't have to post daily or like every like two days. Like if it's every few days, but you've been posting for a while and we've been seeing the grind you've been going on, you've been seeing like the improvement in your videos, you've been putting more work into your videos. We're literally inviting people who even have like 50 subscribers. So we're inviting a lot of people. All you guys really have to do is just be active. I'm literally searching and refreshing the 1v1 LOL category every single day and trying to see who I can find. But also if you guys are over on Twitch, I'm also going to be looking over on Twitch. I know that there are some kick create creators. I've been seeing a couple of them actually. Um, more recently, but we will not be searching in kick or TikTok or anywhere else. We're just going to be looking over at Twitch and YouTube right now since we are only testing this. We might expand it out to TikTok because we know TikTok also pulls a lot of views, but that'll be more towards the summertime if we host a second creator cup, which I'm also going to be mixing in some Raiders competitive season two uh, announcements. Once we do the creator cup, we're actually going to be announcing uh, what we have planned for our next season during the creator cup on my stream specifically we will fully announce it We'll make like a big old I don't know a little maybe even a little teaser video. I'm not exactly sure yet We'll have to see how it goes But we are cooking something up for the summertime So if you guys are interested in that as well, make sure you guys also show it to the broadcast to Come and watch but if you guys want to come and watch you guys want to come record reactions anything like that Even if you guys aren't playing in it and you guys are creators who just want to do react videos for it you guys can also do that. Just make sure to use hashtag Raiders Competitive, uh, or you can use hashtag Creator Cup or hashtag 1v1 LOL Creator Cup. Sorry, uh, you can use those hashtags, um, and you know that way you guys can help us out with the views and stuff, and you can help the other creators out who are also participating. The main purpose of this is to not, you know, um, just have like the big creators on board. It's mainly just to give some free exposure to some of the smaller creators as well. And it does help big creators in a way because we're all collabing together. But at the same time, we're also helping out those smaller creators who just want a little bit more of a boot up in the YouTube and Twitch world. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of people who's been grinding who actually deserve it. And, you know, this is their time to shine, kind of. So remember, guys, just post like uh, as long as you post like once every like few days, like three to four days something like that if you're on YouTube. If you're on Twitch and YouTube and you do that, like either one of those every few days, that's cool as well. Or if you just do Twitch or if you just do streaming in general, 
you will have to do at least like a good solid eight hours, maybe nine hours a week, just so we know that you're dedicated and it has to be good content. We're also not inviting any creators that promote cheats or anything like that because that's not what we are here for. We're here to promote a healthier community. So yes, I know bigger creators like Austin and them, um, if they're willing to remove those cheap videos from their channels, we will be more than happy to invite creators such as that. But as of right now, we just don't really see why we would invite players who, um, you know, uh, promote cheats and stuff like that when that's been the main issue with the community for a long time that's been pushing a lot of people away in general. So it would just make no sense to, you know, for a thing that's supposed to be bringing the community together to invite people who have been tearing it apart. Even if they haven't been doing it maliciously and just for views because, you know, they know that it gets views and stuff like that, we still don't believe that you should be uh, sharing or promoting any cheats of any type. So remember, if you guys just delete those off your channel and never put them back up or anything like that, you guys can continue to be invited to these events. I will just go into your you guys' YouTube comment section or I'll be in your guys' Twitch whispers or if you guys are live on Twitch, then I will also be in that stream talking to you guys, inviting you guys. Um, we also have a few creators that are confirmed at the moment. So we have myself, uh, we have Bug World, we also have Clover and Chips and Zarqua as well. That's the list that we currently have of like the main creators. Zarqua is a huge content creator in EU. He only has like 500 subscribers, but considering that the EU side is not really that big when it comes to YouTube and all that, he's actually doing very great over there. He posts a lot of competitive content. He's very active. We also have uh, Bug World. He's obviously the biggest 1v1 that I will create at the moment. You have myself probably in that top three range, somewhere around there, at least for the active uh, creators, I wouldn't say of all time, obviously. And then uh, we have players like Chips who have been coming up and Clover as well. A couple of those other YouTubers that have been starting to get noticed and stuff like that. So like I said, guys, if you guys want to join, there's really like no like subscriber limit or anything like that. It's just more of if you're active and we see that you're willing to put in content and work for the community, then we're willing to help you out with that as well and help you gain some of the subscribers that you guys want and stuff like that. But anyways, that's enough yapping for me today. Uh, I have a couple more videos I'm working on, guys. I actually worked on a ton of recording just the other night, so it's just a now it's a lot of editing, which takes a lot longer. But I am going to be pushing out some daily uploads with possibly double to triple uploads daily because I started to uh, prioritize just YouTube itself. Streaming is decent. I don't mind streaming at all. The only thing is that it takes like an extra two hours to stream out of a day. And when I'm already recording, editing and all that, by the time I finish all that, it's already been like three hours. So I don't know about dedicating five hours every single day to doing this. Um, that would just be a lot. Of, that's like 30. That's literally almost a full-time job outside of what I currently do. So that's actually kind of crazy. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that. Um, so streams will be weekends only now, but I will be more consistent on the weekends. I haven't been that consistent on weekends. I've been doing like half and half between weekdays and weekends. But now I'll be much more consistent on weekends and I can give you guys a larger heads up on when I won't be able to stream on weekends. Anyways, um, so weekday streams are not going away, but they will be non-prioritized anymore and they'll just be really random. Not really going to be planned or anything like that, but weekends you can expect them to be either planned or I'll announce them like the day of to let you guys know like uh, later that day I'll be streaming or something like that. But anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop that like and sub button. Really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me lately. I know that views have been down a little bit and that the community has been a little dead recently. But I do see it bouncing back every summer. There's always some type of resurgence of um, the community bouncing back. Usually it dies in May because a lot of people are so busy with graduation and stuff like that. Uh, you know, then when it comes back to summer, usually tons of people flood the game. So we'll just have to see how it goes, especially a lot of kids that go to summer school. They love to play this game when they're stuck in school. So that's another thing as well. So if you guys enjoyed, I will see you guys in the next one. And don't forget to drop a sub button. I know I say that a million times every single video, but the point is, is that there are so many of you that are not subscribed right now. And it's absolutely crazy. You guys watch my videos, but don't subscribe. Sub now. Later, boys.